guys, Fan Meats here. Um, so today I'm going to do some pork tenderloin on the uh, Weber kettle. I've got a chimney of coals going. As soon as that's ready, we'll dump those and get rolling. But first I'm going to make a rub uh, to go on the pork tenderloin. And it's one that I've made before and I've been wanting to do a video on one. So I'm like, hey, why not just combine the two and show you know, the rub too. So anyway, this is the uh, book that I got the rub at. Stephen Racklin's uh, Sauces, Rubs, and Marinades. This is an awesome book. So the rub is uh, Kansas City Sweet and Smoky Rub is what I'm going to be making. And this stuff's great, guys. It's really, really tasty. So i got to move my paper towel holder so I don't lose uh, my place in the book. So this is my just a mason jar that I used with that, that, that I've made it in before. Like I say, it's empty, so I need to make some more. Uh, there's a there's a good handful of ingredients. So I gotta put my glasses on because you know I'm getting old, and you know first thing that goes is your eyes and ears when you get old, right? So two it calls for so two thirds cup of brown sugar is what it calls for. Now what I'm gonna use. I'm using turbinado sugar instead of brown sugar. It's a little less sweet. So it's calling for two thirds of a cup. You know what, I should have brought my funnel. Should have brought the funnel. And, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna worry about guys getting these measurements exact, okay? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go get my funnel. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, this is going to make life a lot easier and me creating less of a mess. All right, so two thirds of a cup. Like I say, brown sugar, I'm using turbinado. I like turbinado sugar, it's it's, uh, it's nice. You know what, I'm gonna move the ingredients over there as I use them. Okay, next ingredient is two thirds of a cup of regular sugar. Oh. I don't want those little clumps in there, so I'm gonna remove those. You're gonna clog up the entire funnel. Yeah, and I had to break them apart anyway, so. That's fine, I just put stuff over here. Okay, next ingredient. Uh, half a cup of, it calls for sweet or smoked uh, paprika. Hang on, let me get all this sugar out of this funnel. It's clumped, there we go. The sugar was cl had a clump in it. There we go. Okay. So half a cup of sweet or smoked paprika. Now I'm not going to have enough for a half a cup on the uh, smoked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine some regular paprika with it. First, let's see. You know what? This is a brand new container, so I might get the whole half cup out of this. So you guys can tell where the sweet component is coming in. And then... This is uh, gonna be some of the smoky here, half cup. That's gonna be pretty close to what I need right there. Okay, everybody in the pool. My mouth of my, or the spout of my funnel is not real, real big. This is actually cut, probably made more for liquids than it is for powder, but we're going to make this work. Okay, uh, paprika, quarter cup of seasoned salt. So I got some Lowry's here and it's calling for a quarter cup. And I happen to have a quarter cup right here. Be careful don't get too much okay that's close enough and then next ingredient is um, 
Now it's calls for a quarter cup of smoked salt. Now I don't have any smoked salt, so I'm just gonna use regular uh, sea salt here. And that's gonna be just fine for this. There we go, quarter cup. That one went down quickly. Yeah, because it's real fine. It was not coarse, it's not coarse, so. Okay, now it calls for onion salt or onion powder. That's the one ingredient out of all this that I don't have. So we're gonna just omit the onion powder. It's gonna be fine. Okay, quarter cup of celery salt. I don't know if I'm gonna have a full cup of this because this is not a full container. But we're gonna, you know what, it's gonna be pretty close. There we go. Okay, next up. Two tablespoons of black pepper. Two tablespoons of black pepper. One and two. Those were big tablespoons of black pepper. It's getting clogged up with the amount of it's stuff okay. in there. It's okay. There we go. There we go. It's coming out. Okay. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Chili powder. Chili powder. Right there. It's a little bit big for that end, so we're going to use this other end. One and two. Okay. Uh, two teaspoons of mustard powder. Here is my teaspoon. It's okay, buddy. You can put it back in there. One and two teaspoons of mustard powder or ground mustard is what I have one teaspoon of poultry seasoning I don't know why it calls for that I'm gonna omit that uh, one teaspoon of ground ginger where is my ground ginger here it is right here one teaspoon that's a heaping teaspoon okay a uh, half teaspoon of ground allspice, okay? Half teaspoon, eh, that's close enough. Okay. And a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And there you go, cayenne pepper. Again, half teaspoon. We're just going to all bob ball it. That's probably a whole teaspoon, but... Okay. Now we're going to get all of this in there. It's like layers of it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, huh? It's like when you're doing a sand, uh, like a sand castle thing. Sediment. Yeah. Okay. There we go. My shaker top. And there you go, guys. Kansas City Sweet and Smoky Barbecue Rub. All you got to do is shake it. To mix it. Give it a few good shakes. There you go. There you go, guys. Right there. This is great. This stuff is awesome. Ribs, um, like the pork tenderloin that I'm doing here, a uh, pork uh, shoulder. If you're uh, really good, really good rub, guys. If you didn't, if you didn't catch all the ingredients and you would like for me to put it in the uh, description uh, box under the video, just, just leave a comment and let me know, and I'll add all the ingredients. Okay, guys, that's done. My coals are going to be ready in a few minutes. We'll bring you back when we're going to uh, apply the rub and put them on. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so I poured my coals in my kettle. It's ready. Um, we're fixing to season up these loins. Here we go right here. Got four nice, fat, tender loins. My son's gonna do the seasoning for me. Okay, bud, go ahead. So what we're doing here, I just got an old sheet pan and we're just gonna pour the seasoning on that and then we're gonna roll the loins in it. That's how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna apply the seasoning. There you go, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, that's good, try that, all right. Grab one, dude. There you go. Just lay it flat. Oh, there you go. Just roll it around. Get all the. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. 
quickly to add some more. There you go. Roll it all around in there and get all that seasoning on there. There you go. How's that? I'm thoroughly covered. Okay, put it back on the platter and grab another one. There you go, just roll it. Roll it, there you go. Perfect, perfect, just like that. Add some more. There you go. That one covered, move on to the next one. Move all this. There you go. This one's a skinny one. There you go, just roll it. Should be all you have to do, just roll it around. All right, we got one more. Should be plenty there to do that last one. Okay, you gonna put them on? You gonna put them on the yeah. the kettle? Yeah. All right. Let me get the. Uh, let me take the lid off for you. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, don't touch the lid. Okay, look. Here's what I want you to do. So grab one. I want you to lay it long ways. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna put them on the heat. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the indirect side. Don't touch the lid. Yes, sir. Sure. Whoa. There we go. One more. Probably gonna Perfect. Have to, we're probably going to have to take the ones closest off first. Yeah, that's fine. And what I did, guys, I pinched down my... I don't really you can see it, but I got my vent on the bottom pinched down to about, about a quarter of the way open. Okay? And then, um, hang on. I have... Let me open up my grate here. I've got... A few chunks of hickory wood that I'm just going to throw in here. Bam, just like that. Close the grate up. We're going to put our lid on. And we're going to let this rock and roll. My vent opposite end of the fire, so the fire, so the smoke and the, and the heat has to come over the meat to get out, right? Okay, see you guys back in a minute. All right, guys, so. My uh, tenderloin just hit 160, so let's take a look at them and see how they look. Wowzers, those look good. Hey, Cooper? Mm-hmm. Now, here's something you can do, guys. If you want to get a char, a little more of a char on them or something, now's the point where if you want to move them over to the, to the direct heat, get a little char on them or whatnot, but I think these look pretty tasty. What do you think, Coop? Yeah, they smell tasty too. They smell great, don't they? Okay, can you get the tongs and pull the, I mean, tongs and pull the probe out? Mm. Pull, pull, pull. There we go, buddy. Thanks. Turn that off. Okay, there you go. Here's your platter. Put them on there. I'm doing like ribs. You gotta. Nah, just grab them from the side. There you go. Yeah, just like that. Ooh wee, he's big, huh? Mm hmm Take them all. Uh oh. Smells like salmon kind of. Salmon? What? Where are you getting that from? Okay. Next one. Boop. One more. Alright guys. We're gonna let them rest uh, 10, 15 minutes. We'll slice them up and I'll show you how they look. All right guys, so a while ago when we took them off, me and my son were sitting standing here looking at them a minute and we're like, hey, why not Why not let's, let's put a little char on them? So we ended up putting them back on for about two minutes per side. And woo-wee, I'm about to take them off now. Look at that. Be careful with that powder fall. It smells delicious. It smells delicious, doesn't it? Phenomenal. That is some nice looking loin right there. 
beautiful, beautiful. One more. Okay, over to the table. Can you carry it? Okay. All right. Now we've got to set them out right there. Now, guys, we're going to let them rest for 10, 15, and then uh, we'll cut them up and see how they look. Let's move the fly zapper over Holy here. Holy moly, they smell good. All right, guys, see you back in a minute. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to cut it up. So what we did off camera, made a little Caesar salad, made some broccoli and cheese rice off camera. Let's cut into this. And... Ooh-wee, that looks good. It smells good. Holy moly. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's very hot. Put a medallion there. One there. One there. Another one there. Put another one under there. There you go, guys. Pork tenderloin. Sorry. I always forget to bring a napkin out here. Pork tenderloin. Broccoli and cheese rice. Some Caesar salad. <coughs> That's going to be good. Let's try a piece. How's it taste? Pretty good. My son's filming for me. It's tender. Moist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got a little taste, um, spice to it. Oh wow! Oh, well, that's great. Mmm. Oh wow, that's real good. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll take this aside. We're gonna eat. See you next time.